Hi there! Do you really like having visitors at your place? And what if these guests are with teeth, claws, and covered with fur? What would you do if you found some tricky intruder in your house? Just something like this cute family having fun in the swimming pool. Imagine, one day you look out of the window and see those creatures on your backyard. The kids didn't like the idea that animals were playing with their toys, did they? What is Hey kids, don't be so greedy and let the little fellows have little joy with your stuff. And not only toys, people often have to share their lunch with these naughty guys too. Especially in the regions where bears live close to people and they see humans' backyards like an eatery spot. Oh, these intruders sometimes behave like hosts in the house and in the kitchen. The white bears, especially young and curious, also have a tendency to drop in people's houses, just for a change. you hear that growl? What do you think? Who is this unexpected guest? A panda! But dude, it doesn't look too real, you know. It reminds me of something like frozen vegetables in a viral advert. Thanks for the laugh, but the panda doesn't look real, does it? Hope the guys did it just for fun. Could they really hope to make us believe this clumsy thing is a real panda? I really doubt it. Oh, just look at this. Something went wrong with this nice TikTok dancing. What were you expecting to see? A cat or a dog to jump into her? No, 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 no. Stop! And if you're wondering what the snake is, it's an albino Burmese python. They are extremely curious and are known to do things like that. The python apparently was climbing up a wall from the outside. They occasionally do that. The snake was likely to use the door handle as an area to support the climb. The door opened and the snake all of a sudden fell into the room. Raccoons, they're just amazing creatures. Funny, fussy, poking their curious noses everywhere. And if these guys live somewhere not far from your place, never, listen, never leave your dinner on the table. Especially if you adore sleeping with open windows. Raccoons have no shame at all. There are times when they get into the house during a high day, and for you, if you haven't eaten all your lunch then, they are sure to grab your food. And you're also pretty sure to give it to them because they're so cute. Actually, raccoons look for warm, safe, and dry places to live. Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> Drop the Fruit Loops and run! No! 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 And if you have heard noises in your attic at night, be ready to have these guests. Birds also like sneaking into people's houses looking for some food. It isn't anything much if it's something like a cute little birdie, but when a seagull as big as a duck drops in, in this way, you run the risk of losing your dinner. Oh, these unwanted feathered guests. Look at this proud turkey. Was it a cat that invited that wild bird to chill out? Or didn't he also expect the bird for dinner? The cat doesn't look as if he's gonna share his treats with him, does it? And what about deer? Are they frequent visitors to the people's houses? What? If you live somewhere not far from a forest, be ready to meet something like that one day, unexpectedly and acting like a bull in a china shop. But don't be scared, just let them go out. And if a deer once discovers your yard as a delectable deli, they'll do everything to have access to it. They are very curious too, especially youngsters, and can visit you just for fun. Some of them aren't scared at all and let people touch them. Others tend to be not so brave, but they're extremely cute, aren't they? But if you live in Australia, you can scarcely expect something like a deer or a bear at your door. This cute guy can pop by for a visit. Hello. Just walks in, takes a stroll around, making itself at home. Sometimes these creatures come to people in search of refreshment. Though koalas typically get water from the leaves of eucalyptus trees, in times of drought, they may need to seek out other sources of water. Sorry to say, this fluffy thing doesn't really feel like the man touches it. Sometimes koalas approach people because of curiosity, but not very often. So if you have such a cute guest, just don't scare the little buddy and let it go. Here is one more very cute and curious creature that can drop in on you one day, a squirrel. 
Do you really remember that they are incredibly provident? And they often go into people's houses looking for some snacks. Just look at this one. The guy came into the house, took a look around, and was immediately offered some tasty peanuts. Just look at the cat outside. It looks as if it didn't wait for any guests. Sometimes the squirrels can get into the house not through the window or the door. They can appear suddenly using an unusual entrance, like a chimney or a fireplace. The owners seem not to like such a tricky visitor, which was rather inventing in the way to get away from him. All right, I think it's going to jump out for its life. Oh, those foxes. They're drawn into houses by the availability of food. And they're sure to take advantage of open windows, doors, and pet flaps to come inside and wreak havoc. But sometimes they seem to be in a playful mood. Look at these foxes. They made up their mind to have fun with kittens, and they seem to be all for it. Granted that they are actually a cat and a dog, in fact. A wild beast, actually. And what about you? Have you ever had a wild animal in your house? If yes, tell your story in the comments below.